Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma'am. Children, what we have done yesterday, we have completed, we have, I have explained you the, the coromandel fishes. Yes, children, about how the fishermen are feeling, how the fishermen's hard work is there. Everything we have, I have explained you in the, from the lesson. Yes, children, I will read once the poem, okay? And after that, we will go into our notes, okay? Rise, brothers, rise, the awakening sky spray to the morning light. Yes? The world wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn like a child that has cried all night. Come, let us gather up our nets from the shore and set our catamarans free to capture the leaping wealth of the tide, for we are the kings of the sea. No longer delay, let us hasten away in the track of the seagull's call. No longer delay, let us hasten away in the track of the seagull's call. The sea is our mother, the cloud is our brother, the waves are our comrades all. What do we toss at the fall of the sun, where the hands of the sea god dries? We who holds the storm by, by the hair will hide in his breast our lives. Sweet is the shade of the coconut glade and the scent of the mango grew. Here the land is described like this. And sweet are the sands at the full of the moon, with the sound of the voices we love. But sweeter, O oh brothers, the kiss of the spray and the dance of the wild foam's glee. Row, brothers, row to the edge of the verge, where the low sky mates with the sea. This is the poem. Yes, children. Now, as soon as I said you to write, listen and say loud words. Yes, have you written? I hope everyone has completed the work. Listen and say loud words, meanings, new words and let us discuss. Yes, children. Now, we are going to write exercise 2, literature comprehension. Okay, children. Everyone be ready with your books. Open your books. Take out your books. Page number 28, textbooks. Okay, children. See here children, first we are going to see the, let us discuss question answers. See here, what are catamarans? Catamarans are fishing boats. Means here, what is meant by catamarans? Catamarans are fishing boats. Yes children, see here children, second question. What is the leaping wealth of the tide? The leaping wealth of the tide refers to the fish that fisherman, fishers want to catch. See here, what is the leaping wealth of the tide? The leaping wealth of the tide refers to the fish that the fishers want to catch. And third question, let us discuss questions still on this are Check it once you have written correct or wrong. What is being compared to a child that has cried all night? The wind is being compared to a child that has cried all night. Here which is compared? The wind is compared to a child. And next one, fourth question. What relation do the fishers have with the sea, the clouds and the waves? The fisher folk considers the sea to be their mother, the clouds to be their brother, and the waves to be their comrades. Comrades means what children? Friends. Here they consider that mother, sea as a mother, clouds as a brother, and waves are the friends. Yes, children? Now, we are going to write the exercise two question answers now. See here, children, first question. What does the poet compare the wind to? Here, what is the question they ask? They ask that, what does the poet compare the wind to? The poet compares the wind to a child that has cried all night because it now lies asleep in the arms of the dawn. Here, what it is telling? Here, the poet compares the wind to a child. Here, poet compares the wind to a child. And he says that how the child, small children will not sleep all the night and they will sleep in the daytime. Like this, here also the wind is sleeping at the daytime in the arms of the dawn. Yes, children, see here. The poet compares the wind to a child that has cried all night because it now lies asleep in the arms of the dawn. And what is the second question? What are the dangers that the fishers face at sea? See, 
What the dangers that fishes face at the sea, children? Winds and storms are the dangers that the fishes face at sea. Here, winds and the storms are the dangerous thing that fishes face to the, at the sea. When they will go into the sea, you now what they will face the dangerous thing? Winds and the storms. What are the sweet things of the land that are mentioned in the poem? What are the sweet things, children, that is mentioned in the poem? The sweet things of the land mentioned in the poem are the shade of the coconut glade, the scent of the mango, mango grove, the sound of loud voices, and the sands on a full moon night. And second, see, what is the mentioned sweet things of the land? See, the sweet things of the land mentioned in the poem are the shade of the coconut glade, the scent of the mango grove, the sounds of loud voices and the sands on a full moon night. Yes, write it out. And fourth question. According to the poem, do the fishes prefer the danger of the sea or the life on the shore? So, life on the shore is sweet. The fishes prefer the spray and waves of the sea. Here life on the shore is good, sweet only. Shore means what? Not in the sea, outside of the sea. Yes, children? And But the fishes prefer the spray and waves of the sea. They prefer to go into the sea only to catch the fishes. Although it is sweet on the la land also, they will prefer to go into the sea. Because they, they should catch the fish only, then only they can eat the food. Yes, children, by selling that. Yes, for that they prefer, mostly fishes prefer the spray of spray and waves of the sea. Because they are, it is a god for them. Yes, children. See here, uh, exercise 2, first question, second question, third question and fourth question. Complete it, children. See here children, read and answer. Complete the lines from the poem by matching the sentence in column A to those in the column B. You should only do. I will not tell this. Okay, complete it children, you can match it. Yes? Rise brothers, rise. The awakening sky sprays to the morning light. Yes, match it. Full are there to match. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, A, B, C, D. Match column A with column B. Okay children? See your children now, value-based questions and judgment. See, you should write your own, this one. Okay, but I am showing you the sample one. See here. Why do you think the poet calls the fishes the kings of the sea? Why do you think that the poet calls the fishes as the king of the sea? See here. Just as kings have the power to rule and be responsible for their kingdom. The coromandel fishes too have the power to rule the sea. They feel that the sea god will protect them and that nothing can harm them. They look forward to all the dangers and risks that come with life at sea. This is why the poet calls the fishers the king of the sea. Here why the poet is calling the fishers as a king of the sea children? How the king have the rule? Power to rule the kingdom like this. The fishers feels the sea as a god who will protect them and they rule the sea. See here once again. Why do you think the poet calls the fishers the king of the sea? See here. Just as kings have the power to rule and be responsible for the kingdoms, the coromandel fishers too have the power to rule the sea. They feel that sea god will protect them and that nothing can harm them. They look forward to all the dangers and risks that come with life at sea. This is why the poet calls the fishers the king of the sea. Right? Neatly, children. Now see. Can you guess why the fishes track the seagull's call? Can you guess that? Why they will track the seagull's call? See here. Seagulls primarily eat, primarily eat fish. What? Seagulls will eat fish. And thus tend to be around areas where a lot of fish can be found. So it is, if the fishes can track the seagull's call, they can find areas in the sea where Plenty of fish can be found. See here. Why the seagulls will eat the fishes. Wherever the fishes are their lot. There we can find the seagulls. Yes. So we will track the seagulls means we can catch easily the fishes. Yes. And so the fisherman will track the seagulls call first. 
See here. Seagulls primarily eat fish and thus tend to be around areas where a lot of fish can be <coughs> found. So, if the fishers can track the seagulls call, they can find areas in the sea where plenty of fish can be found. See here children, clearly it is there. Yes, you can write it carefully. Complete exercise 2, 3, 4 in your textbooks. Okay children, see. Can you guess why the fish attract the seagulls call? Seagulls primarily eat fish and thus tend to be around areas where a lot of fish can be found. So if the fishes can track the seagulls call, they can find areas in the sea where plenty of fish can be found. Understood children? This is your exercise 4, first question and second question. Complete the notes children. Everyone should complete the notes. Understood?